In a previous video, we saw that we had a list which have several elements and then we wanted to execute several asynchronous methods over each of the elements of the list. We did that with a for each, but we saw that that was inefficient because we weren't taking full advantage of the power of our machine because we could execute the asynchronous methods simultaneously across every single element of the list. And we did that. We did that using an enumerable of tasks combined with a task when all. And that was fine, but sometimes that is not what you want because you could pretty easily end up consuming all of the resources of your machine. And maybe you don't want that. Maybe what you want is to not go to the extreme of working over each element at the same time, but take them in a two by two basis or a three by three basis or something like that. You can do that very easily with a new functionality of .NET 6, which is called for each async. With for each async, we will be able to do something like this, but defining first a max degree of parallelism, which will allow us to say that we want to take these elements in a two by two basis or three by three basis and so on. So let's do that. I have here this to do in which I'm going to implement that in a three by three basis. So for that, we have to first say parallel options, new parallel options. Here is where I will define that max degree of parallelism and we're going to use three. So after that, we are going to say await parallel for each async. And again, this is new for .NET 6. Now I will pass the names that I want to iterate over with this for each. I will pass the parallel options. And finally, I will put here the method that will get invoked for each name of the names list. Now the parameters of this method are going to be name, which is a name of the list and a token, which is a cancellation token, which will allow us to cancel the synchronous operation if we want to. But since I don't want to use a token, I can just put here underscore and then we're not using that variable. So now I will do await do validations and I will pass the name. That do validations is a method that we did in a previous video that contain the sequence of the asynchronous method that we wanted to execute. And that's actually it. With this, we're good to go. With this, we are not in the extreme of executing the code one by one, but also not in the other stream of executing the code simultaneously for every single element in the list, because if we have a list with one million elements, then it may not be wise to try to process them all at the same time. So this is a nice middle ground that we can use. Now, let me add a little bit of code just before we execute this, I will add this console write line so that we can identify on the console where this code is going to be located or the execution of the code, the result of the code. And also let me write on the console how much time it took to process the list. So let me press control F5 and we are going to see that we have the previous inefficient implementation, which is the one by one basis. It took eight seconds and then we have this, which is that simultaneously across different names, but, and that took two seconds by the way, and we have the efficient part two, which is doing a three by three basis. As you can see here, we have method one for Claudia, Robert and Felipe, then method two for Claudia, Robert and Felipe, then method three for Claudia, Felipe and Robert, and finally, method four for Claudia, Robert and Felipe. And now, now that we have finished for these folks, now we are processing Rajan. So as you can see, we are doing this in a three by three basis. We are taking the elements of the list in a three by three basis that will allow us to maybe not use 
all of the resources in our machine because sometimes we may not want that. Sometimes processing one million records at the same time, it may not be the fastest way of doing things. Of course, you need to measure that. You need to make sure that you are making decisions based on measurements and not without any data to back it up. So as you can see, with parallel for each async, it is really easy to asynchronously process elements defining a max degree of parallelism. Thank you.